All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Fruits, Fruits Basket, Basket Season, Season 1, Episode 10. 10. And we have gotten mm. quite possibly the most perfect character <laughs> introduction we've gotten yet in this show. Hatsuhara. Mm. Hatsuharu. You, it was you, quite a bullish entrance. Mm, quite but, quite bullish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, 14. 14. <laughs> he played into the trope so perfectly. Those ladies at the beginning, they need to go to jail. Like, they, 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 need to, <laughs> they need to go home and rethink their lives. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but now, now he is here. Mm -hmm. A year younger than our main boys. And the world is better for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's got those glasses and, and his pedal power mm -hmm. motorcycle. Ding, ding, ding. A.K.A. a bicycle. <laughs> yeah. I, I, oh boy. I'm so excited if this is the caliber that they're going to be introducing new mm. characters in. We got Hattori with his emotionally just, oh, yep. his gut wrenching backstory. Then we've got Kabedon. Yeah, then we have Hattori. <laughs> because I'm in love with you, Yuki. You know, clearly. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> we'll, leave, sure. we'll leave how close the familial relationship between us is. Up to the fans. It's it's not clear. So there's no necessary finam, f f f familial I mean, relationship in the so direct sense. family. You know. well, yeah, 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 but it's a clan. There, there's different, like so distant familial. Yeah, yeah they could be seven cousins. Is practically like not related. Possibly, you know. Yeah, that could be what it could be, <laughs> or it could just be cousins. Well, yeah. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. All right. Okay. I really like this episode. I do, I, too. I really like this episode. Shigure I, getting focus finally in this in this kind of abstract way, mm -hmm. even though it wasn't a, a full literal backstory. There were ways they tied it into the Hattori backstory, which was kind of cool. Right, like the fact that the the... In the shoujo anime, the Valentine's Day episode yes. focuses on the adult. Yes. Like, yeah. okay. Right. All right. All right. I, I, I really love this because the Valentine's Day aspect of it gave us a plot reason as to why Shigure went to the main estate. Right. And when I think about this from a writing perspective, that that is the actual, like, crutch, not crutch, um, the linchpin upon which the plot of the episode hinges. You, you right, the main not... conflict was Shigure going to the estate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You there, was the, there was the sort of, you know, fun episodic stuff. kind of stuff of, yeah, you know, Kagura showing up and a lot of the Kyoko love on the, the double girls date. being mm. scary and stuff like that. Yep, yep. But I think the biggest thing here was that there wouldn't have been a plot reason in the episode for Shigure to go to the estate mm -hmm. unless Toru wanted to deliver the chocolates. Now, right. the chocolates are the kind of thing of where we go, oh, okay, that's really sweet of her. Yeah, she's wanting to kind of ingratiate herself even more into this family that she's kind of being like, yeah, I I'd like to be a member of your guys' mm -hmm. you know, kind of family here. I want to be friends with Yuki and Kyo and Shigure and, and everyone and everyone. And it's like, ah, oh, yeah, that's sweet. But Shigure, like, no, 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 I've got this. And Yuki having that little bit of no, 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 no. You don't need to go there. So let him do this. Right. Shigure's like, oh, she's already been there, buddy, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, but huh. I, I really think that Shigure is, is in, in the same way that they're saying that there's like a, like a, like a, like a, like a desire that he and Akito are like manipulating mm -hmm. Toru for. Shigure is being that he is at his own little place, you know, outside of the estate. Right. Which has two Baka boys in it. Yep. One of them being there for the majority of the time, Kyo being a new recent like addition to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That that makes me think that pr primarily, it's either one of three things with regards to his like love affection thing. It's either that he has this love, and it was not a singular devotional like personal like specific uh -huh. love, and that's that's that could be its own thing there or. It's Yuki, specifically because Yuki is at the house. Sure, and he's wanting to make sure that he cares for Yuki and right. all that stuff. Right, yeah. and, and Yuki has his own issues yeah. with the family. Right, it's definitely if it if it is one of one of the two boys, it's definitely not Kyo. It's definitely not Kyo, mm -hmm. but he does try to give a semi-impartial thing there, so he doesn't end up on Kyo's bad side. But 
the other one that makes the most sense Unless we wanted to go for the Toru angle, which I don't think that is what it is. No, Toru is a tool that he's using. Toru is a tool that he's using. I think the other one, though, is Akito. And yeah, he and I, had I, I an interesting that. conversation with Akito where they were together. And he had this, like, kind of thought in his head of, like, see, now you're going to reap, basically, what you sown. Yeah, it's weird and because cause he, he – um, the stuff that he the, – the interactions that he has with Akito, mm-hmm. on the one hand, he said in the episode – um, you know, I love you more than anyone. I anyone. care about you the most. I, I care yeah. about you the most. But I think then right after that, like in his head or something like that, you mentioned like, I'll lie to whoever I need to or something like that. But um, like it, it very much felt like it's the kind of thing where he's m- trying to manipulate Akito as well. Well, yeah, yeah. He definitely he definitely could be manipulating right. Akito here. I'll, I'll get what I want no matter what could lies still, I have to tell her. But still, Akito to. could be the source of his love there. Yes, though. definitely. It doesn't mean, right. though... That it's the it's the um yeah the, like it, it feels like the the therapist trying to guide the patient or the or the scientist trying to get information without the people knowing that they're like you know that they're not part of the 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 test group or whatever you know like like you know don't let the person know that you're doing something because otherwise it won't actually be their right. their growth their decision and, their and whatever. Akito seems like a character that is a bit self destructive in general oh, or at definitely. the very least yeah. just um broken. Yes, <laughs> but absolutely. But in that respect, I could see Shigure, based on his personality, being someone that is lying constantly, mm-hmm. and thus his lies aren't necessarily special. They're just like, sure. oh, to him, they're almost as effortless as breathing. Right, the thing like, oh, I brought you some Valentine's Day chocolates. Oh, no, I lied, they're from Toru, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the main thing we can get right now with regards to Shigure's flaw, is that he is a liar. Right. And that's been called out, like, Twice which or is, three times in which this is episode interesting alone. For the dog zodiac. Well, I think I think the connection you can make with the dog zodiac is that the dog is always happy, always smiling, always like ah, ah. excited. No matter what they like, you know, like no matter what. There's no way a dog be. could actually be that, you know, right, that right. happy and good natured or or a person if they had the essence of a dog. It'd just be a facade, right? Yeah, it would just be the thing that they bring up to make other people feel sure. Good. They wag their tail, yeah. Yeah, they wag their tail. Give heads hats. Internally, yeah. they're mm-hmm. like, I am suffering. I am in pain. I am sure. I am trying. Or to, I have an agenda. Yeah, like, I have an agenda. I have a specific feeling that I've been chasing since you know yep. a young child. And and this whole thing with Shigure and Akito, I gotta say. I that like I like it. There's parts of me that is like unsure about it because I'm I'm not used to this this uh, this style for for a story. But because like the the show as a whole is not something that has like any obvious direct overarching conflict outside of the thing with the Soma family and the curse and things like that. But the characters of Toru and the two boys don't necessarily have much of a tie to that stuff yet because they're basically going through their 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 regular high school life, right? They're Really? Yeah, like I mean, like they're, they're part of the zodiac, but well, they're, yeah, they're they're part of the whole the whole, the family. So, so right, I, I would assume that well, it's, it's, well, except it's except they're kind not, of not because well, they're they're separating themselves from it as much as they, they can. Are, but they but they are in that they you know we're going to go to the official annual thing. Sure, I get I get what you're getting at but, here, but so so yeah, there 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 are of co- there are of course. Um, points where you can say yes from a literal perspective they're still part of the family and things like that and whatnot and and i and i feel like that's how they'll get roped into the conflict eventually when it becomes more like out in the out in the yeah open, i think you know? i think i think there's a better way to look at this though in that it's not about whether or not they're roped into it yet it's about whether or not we're aware of how they're roped into it okay or like, they're aware of how they're roped into it. Well, sure, well, well, but well, no, I think I think primarily we start with us. Okay, because uh, yeah, so yeah. so I'm, I'm going to say something, and if you let me finish, that'd yeah, be yeah, great. Yeah, go so for it. Go for it. The um the main three characters, like the the main three characters, are definitely the main three characters. And Shigure, as much as I love him, he is second fiddle to them. Right? Yes. They are they are the core cast. Yeah, and they are not the ones pushing the main conflict of the story. It seems. Right, they're they're having fun with each other. They have their own personal growths and journeys and things like that. But as far as like the 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 grand narrative of this this tale, they might be the heart and soul of it. But they are not actually the ones like directly like pushing it forward. Yeah, I, right. I, I I still think in some ways that that's kind of kind of missing the point a little bit because I feel like in some ways Toru is actually the one pushing the primary conflict. 
Like she is the one kind of bumping into their lives, their family drama and being like, no, 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 no. I can handle it. I will be there. I'm going to okay. make you all happy. And, all right. and thus that creates drama as okay. they ripple I, out. I will, the, I will rephrase. Okay. None of them are intentionally progressing the conflict. Gotcha. I right? see what you're and saying. That's something, okay. And that's something that is, um, is rare in stories because usually even if it's like a reactive protagonist or something where someone else is doing something and they respond to it, mm -hmm. they're, they're at the very least involved. And, and for a story like this that is so much more focused on the character's internal growths and yet it's a long you know it's a long tale right mm -hmm. you know this is a, a, a long a long show these the 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 times when we see akito and shigure interacting feel like it's the it's the chess masters doing almost like their proxy war or whatever or sure. their their thing where they're like all right we're this is main plot time basically right mm -hmm. and and as much as we love these these our, our three main characters they're kind of doing the um uh, it's like it's the it's they're just well, it's, unaware they're they're unaware right it's it's they're the, unaware of literally what Akito and Shigure are doing right it's the yeah, yeah. so so having Shigure be going about this and and us getting this perspective with him I think is really good because then it can give us that perspective for how the show is going to go like in the long term but at the same time we're still being kept in the dark of what it is that Shigure actually wants and I think that's really curious because we're we're seeing how he'll go about it how much resolve he has to do this right and and we get we get an inkling of how much he cares about this thing that he's after mm -hmm. But we still don't know, and that and that that, that boggles yeah, that's, my mind. That's why I'm that's why I'm trying to figure out what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And I, and I just wanted to I just wanted to point out that that I think that's so cool because because that is something that is not easy to do in writing because if you're if you're progressing a plot where you don't actually know what the main plot is necessarily, that's 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 fun. That's well, yeah. Well. Okay, okay, but but I, I, I feel like that's that's still just what I was bringing up, was that we as the audience don't necessarily know what the primary overarching plot mm -hmm. conflict is specifically, but we know what type of conflict it is. We know that it is Toru entering the Soma family and causing a chain reaction effect, a domino right. effect that bumps over into everyone else and then they yep. react to their reactions to their yep. reactions to their reactions and now it's rippled all the way to akito uh right yeah it's and gone up the food chain of the yeah Soma and we've family. now yeah. had the rebound back in some ways from the audience's perspective of showing that akito and shigure are are doing their they're thing. they're doing a thing but we don't know mm -hmm. whether or not is, they're in exactly. conflict with each other whether or not they're actually aware which end the other person is going for specifically all we know is that this is the vague talk of characters that are in the know mm -hmm. that are pointing at each other and being like you're doing your thing it's like yeah i'm doing my thing I'm doing my thing but with ways that uh kyo and yuki as parts of the main cast interact i would say that they're more in the know than we are really yeah yeah, I would actually say that they are probably on some level relatively in the know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's the and huh. it's the whole thing of where you you can tell at the very least, at the very least, they're not fans of the Soma family, the Soma clan in general. Uh sure. Absolutely. Like yeah. that's they they tolerate Shigure. Like in some mm -hmm. ways in some ways they kind of mock Shigure at times. Yeah. Like it, it, it if anything, it feels like um that might be the best clue that we have of what Shigure's plans are, is that they're he because he has some probable beef with the Soma family, definitely with Akito it seems, then his plans probably have something to do with that. Mm -hmm. And then He's been helping out Kyo and Yuki with giving them a place to stay that is separate from the estate, mm -hmm. even though Kyo was not really like a part Kyo of the Kyo wasn't really there. Anyway. That's why I think it's primarily right. a, a Yuki thing. It's primarily thing. a Yuki thing, right? Which makes yeah. sense because as much as I love Kyo, unfortunately, you he's know. He's also not a member of he the is, official Zodiac. Well, well, sure. But he is, um, distinction as well. he is not the main male character in this show, and it is not a dual main male character like type deal. I mean, it kind of is. It totally but, is. But they're, but they're literally the brothers that. No, no, right, right. But Yuki is kind of more of the main character than than Kyo. Like, I, I, like when it comes to like plot stuff. Like, I, I kind of get what you're saying there, like, but that's just I think only in the fact that he's an official 
regular like you are a Zodiac member. Sure, and like the there's cats there's kicked out, but other than that, universe reasons for that kind of. Yeah, but know. I would say there's 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 no other no other separation really other than that. In that, whatever the mechanics and the you know the the connection that they all have to each other, mm -hmm. you know, within the family. Obviously, Yuki has a more superior connection. Right, he was in the first episode, and place. Kyo was introduced at the end of the first episode. Yeah, yeah but, but that, I don't think yeah, that's anyway. relevant. I'm thinking more just along the lines of in the world mechanics of it. Yeah. Yuki has a literal hierarchical advantage yep, exactly. in that regard. Right. But in terms of Toru being the actual main character, like, right. like the other two are that's... subservient to her, yep. they are equal in, in her mind. Like they are, they are both the boys that right. she wants to be her family with. Yep. She's like, yep. if I could make these two just, you know, be get friends again and, and get yeah. along, mm -hmm. I would be, I would be satisfied because I would get to be in the middle of that, you know, right. trifecta of, yeah. of, of wonderful wholesomeness. And, so, it, and that, that desire is powerful enough and strong enough that it even made yeah. Kyo be like, fine, I'll go on a date with Kagura. Well, well, well Kyo, Kyo likes Toru, like. No, 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 right, exactly, like, yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's why. No, no, right, <laughs> but no, that, that I would say makes it, just goes to show how much, how, how it's even stronger, because oh, if, okay. if, if you end up going on a double date with the girl that you like, but mm -hmm. you're not the one that's going on the date that, that is, you know, the part of the, the date with the girl that you like, right, because if he likes Toru, right, and he's so competitive with Yuki, the fact that he agreed to go on a double date where Yuki and Toru are together, and then he's with Kagura when he doesn't even like Kagura, that's a big deal. That means that the fact that, that Toru really wants, wants them to be able to reconcile, that is something that seriously affected his behavior, because I don't think he would do that any other way. Yeah, I think I think it's just that he gets to be a with the with the crew of them going to on this thing there, and he would rather rather suffer with Kagura being there mm -hmm. than have Toru and Yuki go alone. Right, know? right, or or him have to you know skip town because it's like oh shit, how do I get get away from Kagura? Right, <laughs> right, but. right. Um, but back to Shigure. Um, I, I really, I really like this idea, though, of him being the writer that ties into almost in some ways him not being even necessarily a um, a novelist, but maybe even more of a journaler. This is a weird way to describe hmm. it. Okay. But he describes this feeling and how he wants to capture it, make it eternal and and hold it forever. Writing is the best way to do that. Did he mention, like... He mentioned that it was still in his heart, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah he okay. mentioned he... wanting to basically hold on to that forever. Okay. And he didn't say literally that he's going to do that with writing. Right, right. But uh -huh. it was brought up in the same episode that we introduced his editor, who is basically begging him to please stick with your writing mm -hmm. and keep working on it. Right. Don't give up, basically. Don't run away from this. Does that not seem like there's some kind of emotional connection to how his writing is this thing that yep. he wishes to attain, but he also is it's, caught it's in evading the, his grasp, kind of? And well, right, but it's also something that he's intention not intentionally he is subconsciously avoiding because there's some aspect of it that's unattainable. Sure. Like, yeah, and and hence why, like, because you know, with mm -hmm. with how much he lies of the things like oh, Toru's chocolates and things like that, mm -hmm. his casual little things that he decides to do of like oh, sure, I'll avoid my editor, right? Right. That that seems like a um, like playing it off as a joke, but it there there's actually some deeper meaning to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not actually done casually. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had this little bit with the editor being like, come on, Sensei, at least please work a little more seriously. It's like, you care about your work, don't you? He's like, what? No, I care about myself, most of all. And <laughs> this yep. is like, here's I'm in trouble, I'm procrastinating. Yeah. And I, I, I really like that they brought up the idea that he's going to lie a lot. Mm -hmm. Because him saying right there, I care about myself, most of all, there's a possibility that that might be the truth. I think so. Because yeah. that fits a little bit with the idea of him having a wish. Right. Like and a, a, a specific thing that he's going after. And, and why... And he will 
burn everything in order to get mm -hmm. there, basically. Right, and and it's it was such a um, almost like splitting hair kind of a thing to correct her on. <laughs> yes, yeah. That Why do it? it yeah. If it was a lie, right? There would be no there there would be nothing really that he would gain from that, gain, other than exactly. maybe like teasing her by like you know just being like, no, right. it's actually this, you know, mm -hmm. but seems more likely that it's actually something that he that is very important to him and as such when she says something that isn't quite right he's like no 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 i care most yeah. about myself yeah and hence his you know willingness to to you know hurt people and make sacrifices and things like that right so what if what if it's not the akito thing okay and what if it's that the love was a feeling and because of the unique relationship where they can't embrace, you know, like someone of the opposite gender, for instance, mm -hmm. he has been in this situation where he felt the experience through some, I don't know, spiritual connection or whatever with Hattori because they said they all dreamed the morning or whatever, like a specific oh. thing. And I, I think I think it was more of a um, non-literal dream, not like a not like a, 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 a they go to sleep, have a dream and they all share the same dream. But like they talked about dreams you know, when they were young and, and, you know, and doe eyed and hopeful and everything. And they both, and they both share the, the, the three of them all shared in that. And then Hattori and, and his girl went off to Akito and all the bad stuff happened and that, you know, hmm. everything fell apart there, but because he didn't have anybody, you know, he didn't have some painful memory that kind of like right. wiped over that. He still holds that dream dear in his heart. Okay. Okay. So what if he got a picture as to what love is? And he experienced kind of the the longing, the the, okay. the romance, the 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 desire in mm -hmm. that, and he's like, oh, that inspires me on a daily basis now, and I want to I want to write. So he sure. writes, you know, <laughs> shitty romance novels yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. But what if the 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 real like you know dream and all this is it's not something towards another person. It's just for him to be able to experience that again. And, and I think Toru and I, gives him an innocent mm -hmm. version of that by being in proximity to the family right. stuff. And thus that ripples out to the, you know, the boys. Yes. And I think, and I think the, the, the way that it would concretely be represented in the world and tie into the main plot and everything mm -hmm. is that it's a fairy tale esque kind of breaking of the curse, right? Sure. That if they can, because, because, you know, it's, it's what he writes about, right? And if he's able to manipulate things so that then he can have that you know, as a real thing, not just uh -huh. writing about it in fiction, you know, then I could see him definitely getting dirty with how he's going to go about doing it, right? Because right. Akito was the kind of person that would despair about it ever being able to happen, right? Uh -huh. We saw that in the bit with Hattori. Yep. So, you know, maybe here, Shigure's like, okay, it's not going to happen think, easily. Yeah, I think right? there's a long con way that this works. And because, it probably involves Toru. Because, you know? well, well, we know it involves Toru. Yeah. But it's the way in which Toru's little moments in which she'll be made, she makes herself so happy by seeing other people's happiness. And there's something just so mm. genuine and innocent and raw about it. Like the part right before the editor kind of takes his uh, uh, attention. attention. He's like, oh, so, so, so where are mine? He's like, oh, I'm making them now. I'll be happy if you enjoy them. And he just kind of has this like, yeah. And I like think he in glimpsed that, something. Yeah, I think incredible. in that moment, I think he felt it again, just for the slightest little bit. And he was like, right. oh. but I think it's, I think it's that kind of goofy, creepy kind of thing of him where he's like, I don't love Toru. Like, You're right, but it's I'm, the I'm not in love with Toru. Right, but he's the he's the artiste, so he exactly. he wants to propagate he it. He wants and to vicariously it and, experience it all and be like, yep. oh yes, I need to be and cast understand into this it and, so that that way he can pour it out onto the page. And, right, right, yeah. and in that respect, I almost feel really bad for Shigure because he's so isolated. He's then. the dog without someone to uh -huh. love, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <sighs> and 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 I. I feel like there's this aspect of Shigure that really resonates with me personally. And it's this idea of the person who is the dog, mm -hmm. basically, but doesn't know how to fully understand, comprehend, and break the egg open of what is like the, the yoke of love, basically. Okay. And that you can, you can smell it. 
you can get hints of it and you're like oh yes i'm i'm cast aside i'm i'm wandering by the sure, by, by the, the wayside yeah. of of just the scent and it's like right, I'm, following on the, the trail. I'm on the trail or something yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't know, know yet, yet. Yeah. yeah but every once in a while mm -hmm. he gets a breakthrough and it just sends him and a whole just fount of life and inspiration and creativity comes sure, forth. Sure, stars align, the muse, uh, you know, descends. And, exactly. Yeah. And mm. it's so just, oh, it's so hard to grasp a hold of and just take mm. there. It's like an egg. It just kind of, you know, kind of sure. slicks out. But I think Toru kind of represents that not Definitely, just not right. just symbolically but there's also potentially even some kind of yeah. mechanic thing with the whole curse there's a reason bringing in there's a reason that she's the main character which is the symbolic stuff but then there's also the reason that shigure specifically is like yes let's keep her at this house let's mm -hmm. keep her interacting with the boys and stuff at the times when it looks like she might leave or whatever let's See if I can do anything to make sure mm -hmm. that the boys know to go after her and bring because her back. Her staying for a long period of time is right. necessary. It's for the this it's plan it's work. it's Belle showing up at the castle and all the all the you know servants and stuff are you know utensils being like okay all right they how do we did what right how do we she's make sure go, that she's going away but we were so close. yeah yeah exactly <laughs> right but uh, yeah. I think I think if they want to make this story. A twist mm. on the romance side of things. Okay. Love being the central conflict point, but it not being about the love of Toru between... Ah, not the romance love? Not the romance love. Yeah, I like but it. But the true nature of what love is and how multifaceted it is and also sure. how unrelentingly powerful it is, mm -hmm. but also how... How fragile. Soft and subtly. Right, you know, Toru is. mentioning that, like, I feel like, you know, Kyo and Yuki are actually really, really sensitive. And and if I, you know, were to just touch their hearts, they'd bruise. Yeah. 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 That's, I. there you go. That's 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 love. That's being vulnerable. Yeah, someone. Their hearts are a, oscillating so close that yeah, in a weird stuff's way, going to happen. I think we got in this episode a real evidential point that that is the case for Yuki and Kyo. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. fact that well, and she, she mentioned that. Yeah. Well, right, right, right. But but the fact that Shigure was like, oh shit, I think I messed up there. Where he basically poked too hard ah, at, at Kyo. Kyo. Mm -hmm. I would have said before this episode that Yuki is a little bit more fragile than Kyo, in that Kyo's fragility has come from the fact that he runs away from things, basically. But sure. Yuki's, I think, is something a little bit more. Yeah, something he's he's dealt with a little bit more trauma potentially in the in the past stuff, but Kyo's I feel like his has been a thing where he's like no 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 I will not be dependent on anyone I will not sure know, need anyone so I'm going to throw that aside mm -hmm. so in some ways he's a little bit maybe ahead of Yuki but it's yeah. just that it's it's in different ways it's right? a different they, it's a different facet which yeah. is which is fun because with their whole rivalry thing you know mm -hmm. or or. And no, it's not a one-sided rivalry. Yuki's just a lot more soft-spoken, you know. But he he and he enjoys he he, yeah. he, he keeps Yuki's not trying to make it better. Right, right. He's not trying to make it better, and yeah. he definitely you know like like Megamine style. When every time he gets a win, he's like, yes, and I check it off in my book, right? But um, but they are they can't just simplify it down to some linear, you know. Oh, mm. I'm I'm better than you, or I'm not. Right. They both sure. have their own strengths and weaknesses, you know. Mm -hmm. And they're going to become intimately familiar with their own and probably each other's over the course of this show. Yeah, and I really, really want that kind of character upgrade thing they seem to be doing with basically like all the existing cast right now just by one by one to mm -hmm. move over to the boys again. Yes. Because Same. I feel like we're like... We're just on the edge of some really cool stuff with both of them, yeah. especially with that one thing that happened with Yuki, where he remembered being younger and, you know, Chuni boy kind of looked up at him, you know? Oh, yeah, from previous episode. Previous yes. episode. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, the fact that we got this with Shigure, instead of, like, introducing a new Soma family member, even though we did, <laughs> we introduced the editor, which we, we don't did. know that they're a family member or not, but I... I get the feeling they might not, be. They might not like, be like just phone call correspondence from what we've seen so far, right? And and I, just named Michan, not like Soma Michan or right, something. Right. But you know? I get the feeling with how um 
dramatically <laughs> emotional she is, she's probably going to breach the line of professionalism at some point and hug him. And then suddenly, oh, hey, here's a dog. Oh. Which would be interesting to see how that gets handled, because you probably don't want to wipe your editor's memory. That could that could affect your work, you know, like like that that mm, I don't know. I don't know. Depending on how little work he's done recently, there might not be much to erase. <laughs> His work's so bad that a, a different editor wouldn't change anything. Oh man, what if he wrote those books, mm -hmm. like those books, a long time ago? And that was when oh. he was close to the feeling. And then he has to like reread them sometimes to remember. Like, yeah, yeah it's and, the... and now Toto being nearby is like a thing of, oh yeah, I'm a writer, you know? Uh huh. Because I'm now like getting that like you know it excitement feels, again. That you know? that kind of thing feels very like Kakushi Goto of the the oh, the sure. less mentally, or the more mentally stable a writer is, the less writing, the the, the less <laughs> the less ideas they'll have for their writing, yes. you know. Yes, it's you gotta so kind of be all over the place and have that insanity, so that then you can, and then just have some kind of process that makes you productive. And that's the editor's job. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the editor's job, but also something so that when the editor is not around, you mm -hmm. will actually still write something. You know, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> but okay, Valentine's Day episode didn't yeah. go the way we it, expected. Not at all. And yeah. okay. Yeah. But I gotta say, I love that they keep, even though even though they're not focuses of the episodes, I love that mm -hmm. they still give Hana and Wo Chan the little the little yes. the little bits the, in the episode. The chibi hug, the, the chibi, chibi hug group hug. Was, oh, oh, oh my god, that made my heart that was just amazing. absolutely melt. But then also oh the god. idea that Hana's like, oh. well, they do the cuckoo thing of taking out the other girls' chocolates and throwing <laughs> them away. I am then just going to take the chocolate for myself. <laughs> And Yuki has no problems with it. No problems with it. You know, and she's like, every Valentine's Day, hell yes, I get chocolate. I got you. And I get yeah. good chocolate. I've, yeah, I've, yeah, got yeah. The, I've got the pick, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what, what I also love about this was this was Yuki just chilling with three girls. Mm -hmm. like, yep. like, like, he was walking with Toru. But Toru bumped into Uo and Hana, and then they just end up together. Yep. I love just friends hanging out through the school dynamic. You don't I want need more to have of everything it. be localized of... The you're with now just and... the friends group, or now you're just with the Somas. Yep. You can intermingle and mix together because I mm -hmm. think that I really love the Uo Kyo dynamic. I really, really love it. I do too. too. Like, also, the homeroom teacher, just a little shout out. That was yes. an awesome, awesome <laughs> moment for her to be like, huh? You know? The gray away product that she just has <laughs> on her. It's like, hmm, I wonder why that I wonder is. where that came from. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, uh, teachers stress so much. And un <laughs> overworked, underpaid. But, um, yeah. I, yeah, and anime will always remind us that it's like, you, bit, you should not, you know, roast teachers or, or give yes. shit to teachers. They go through a lot of stuff. And, and I love the, I love the, frustrated and single like teacher at the you know in the anime trope especially if it's a romance anime because everyone's having their love stuff and everything and then the teacher's just like i'm 36 and single right i'm 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 almost 30 you know like i'm gonna be in my 30s you know oh no <laughs> well i love about that one because that's like the thing of you know that's not that old no right? it's the end, the, the end of the world the end of the world yeah exactly <laughs> the end of days i will i will dry up and right. shrivel away with my cats you know <laughs> right yeah yeah <laughs> but y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you can get an early access there you can watch full-length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our twitch channel we stream every weekday the info's in the description yeah so if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time, time.